welcome back to the Shop My Stash series. It's been a while since I have done one of these just because there's been so many holiday releases that I have been unable to really keep up. It's almost been kind of exhausting doing so many Dazzled or Disappointed. Um, but we're kind of at a little bit of a lull right now, which I am grateful for. And so I thought I would do a Shop My Stash this week. Plus, you know me, guys, and this helps me keep so organized and not running around in the mornings like a chicken with my head cut off. So let's go ahead and get started. I already know one thing that I want from up here and that is the um, Natasha Denona Star Palette. I haven't used this in a while. The other day I pulled it out to um, look at one of the shades because I had ordered the little mini. Not realizing, I didn't do my research, not realizing it was the same shades that were in here. So obviously that one got sent back, but it made me want to use this palette. A lot of people aren't crazy about this because some of the chunkier glitters, but you know I am all about that. And so, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I love this palette so much. Look at that sparkle right there. So anyways, I knew that I wanted to use this this week, especially because I just placed my order for the gold palette. Um... I have a very special friend, subscriber, Sephora employee who allowed me to use the 20% friends and family. So I am incredibly grateful for that and for her. And so I was able to pick that up at the discount. So I'm gonna use that this week. Another thing that I'm also gonna use that I haven't used in a while um, is the Pat McGrath um, uh, highlighting palette. I don't tend to grab this as much because you know that it's broken. Those of you who are um, regulars on my channel know, or on my Instagram even, know that uh, this came in completely broken. Sephora didn't really pack it well, and uh, you know, with all the bouncing around, that's what it looks like. <laughs> and it's actually the best shade too, but what can you do? So anyways, I do want to use it this week. It is beautiful nonetheless, and we are going to put that to the side for use this week. So I think aside from that, um, I... I think MAC is coming out with their holiday collection in the next couple of weeks, which I am so excited for. Um, I'll wait on that. Okay, so let's do those two, and then let's start coming into here. Now, I'm not going to pick anything from here this week because I have a new highlighter that I had recently picked up, or I guess last week, that I want to use this week. We'll come back to that. So let's close this drawer and move on to blushes. The question, as always, is... Do I want to use singles or do I want to use a palette? So I think first off I want to use the Strawberry by Too Faced. This has become one of my very favorite blushes of all time. It's got the most beautiful, beautiful glow and it smells so delicious. So when I want a baby pink type of, look at that sheen, when I want baby pink, this is what I pick up and I am so in love with this and uh, I don't know, maybe in the near future I'll pick up more. Not right now, though. <laughs> and then, um, so that's pink, and you guys know I like to do a deeper one, and then I also like to do a nude. But I'm going to hold off other than that one because I do want to use a blush palette this week. Um, so we'll come back to that. As far as bronzer, let's see what do we want to use. Yes, I did keep the box to Diamond Bomb. I'm going to because it's so pretty. I can't part with it. So anyways, if you're wondering, like, Hasn't she had that for a while? Yes, I have. <laughs> All right, so, oh wait, let me come back up because one of the highlights that I wanna use as my cream highlight for my base is one of the ColourPop Disney highlights. And mine are disgusting. They came in so gross. Um, I ordered them from Shop Disney and it's not their fault. I mean, they packed it just fine, but something happened in transit that they shrunk and broke. I don't know, it's really, really bizarre, um, but, I'll open it here in a little bit. I'm having trouble, you know, with the one hand um, trick. I have issues, but look how pretty. It's like, uh, it makes me feel like I'm at Magic Kingdom and I am okay with that. <laughs> All right, so let's grab that. Now let's keep moving um, to here. Do we want anything from here? I think we do. Um, I need a bronzer and I think I'm gonna go with Hourglass. Now another thing I picked up during the 20% Friends and Family was the new Hourglass Volume 4, the one with the pink packaging. And I am very happy to have picked that up, but I think I already have two of the shades in there. So it really does bum me out when I'm like, for something so expensive, I want it all to be new. So we'll see, we'll see. But um, this is the bronzer I think I want to pick up and it is Luminous Bronze Light. If you're looking for a really awesome bronzer that gives you a healthy, super just 
I don't know, natural glow. This is it. It's one of my favorites. I love the hourglass formula for bronzers. Moving on, I don't know if we want anything in these singles. I have been putting my Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow to use. I'm so happy for that, but I do think I want to use the Shimmer and Glow. This is uh, La, La Douce. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. But anyways, this is that olive green shade. I can give you a swatch in a little bit. It is so pretty. I haven't used it yet. Um, well, I have used it, but not, not this season yet is what I meant to say. Um, these Kylie glitter shadows, so incredible. I am so looking forward to the Halloween releases because I really love using these. Anyways, I'm not going to use those this week. But anyways, moving on. I don't think we've got anything here. This is kind of like my miscellaneous drawer. Uh, lash drawer, and I don't usually pick lashes on my shop my staff just staff staff shop my stash only because I don't wear lashes every single day, and so honestly, it's just kind of whatever mood I'm in as far as the look for the day on what lashes I'm going to wear. And honestly, for the most part, what I do is I'll take a pair, and that's the pair I will use to death and until it's time to pick out a new pair or time to grab a new pair. So that is why there there. <laughs> um, for reference, if you're wondering about my nails, I am wearing, you guys know I love the Color Street nail strips. Um, and so I have featured them in my favorites before. Well, this is one of the Halloween ones and they glow in the dark. Now the skulls I throw away. I'm not big on skulls, I don't like skulls, but I am able to make these work, which is what you see on my hands. And they legit glow in the dark. It's crazy, but it's really neat and it's kind of fun and festive for the season. So, now we've got a drawer. This is the drawer where I've been putting all, like, the newer stuff, except for, obviously, that's not new. Some of these... Okay. Wait. Let me backtrack. This is not super new, but stuff that has been coming out the past couple of months, I haven't... I'm gonna need to, like, reorganize my stuff to figure out a place for this and uh, maybe part with some things. Um, for those of you who follow me on... Poshmark, you know that I put up things as I declutter. There's a lot of new going on here. So obviously the Kylie and Jordan collection. This was the Tarte. I love the box. I'm, I don't want to part with the box because of the little lights. Um, and I think this is what I want to use for this week for my blush slash face palette. Also super excited that the new Trist palette by NARS is coming out um, this week. I think it releases tomorrow at Sephora. Um, and hang on and I will give you... Hold on, hold on. Look. Hey, Pongo. Your antler back? Okay. Can you leave mom to shop her stash? Okay, bye. <laughs> anyway, so this is the face palette I want to use this week, but I'm excited about the NARS Trist palette. Um, very excited, actually. NARS face palettes are some of the best. But this is what I'm going to use. There's, you know I like to do like a deeper one, a deeper blush, kind of a nude blush. And this doesn't have the really deep going on, but it does have a bronzer. And so I have not used this since I used it to review for you guys. So let's bring that back out. Um, this, uh, one of my absolute favorite palettes, blush palettes, and if you're a deeper skin tone, Choose this one over the one I selected for the week because the one I selected for the week is just too light and this one would be perfect. But this I love so much. Um, now it's time to choose palettes. So what do we want to use? Oh my goodness. Man, I need you to get it together. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, so um, he just dropped it again. It's almost like a kid with a pacifier, you know, when they're in the store. Um, so I feel like there's so much that I want to use. One of the palettes I want to use is already on the desk. And I have not put this one to a whole lot of use. It is the I Love Sarai Dose of Colors. I love this palette so much. I'm horrible about like wanting to kind of maintain things new. And I then leave them in the box for a little bit. And then, you know, so it's time. I can part with this box at this point. <laughs> so this palette is so good. I've used it a few times, have loved it. Now, surprisingly, I have not yet used that green shade. And I think it was just because so many people on YouTube were using it. And I was like, okay, I'm kind of... I'm going to let that die down for a little bit before I start using it. Anyways, I do want to use this this week. Oh, my goodness. So incredibly pretty, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Okay, so let's take this one. And what else do we want to take? I want to take one of the Huda Obsessions, the, the um, Precious Stones Obsessions. I am 
so stoked for her nude palette coming out new, uh, November 1st. If you know me, you know that Huda is in my like top brands of all time. It's hard for her to disappoint me. So I think that this week, let's use the purple. This is the Amethyst Obsessions. And these are so beautiful. If you've seen my review, you know that like I was just overtaken because of um, the way it looks like liquid metal. Mm this off with my teeth. <laughs> I was, so just total side note, we went to go see Wicked yesterday. It's in town um, on tour, obviously, and I have seen it before. I saw it in New York City, and then my husband, I saw it with one of my best friends, and then I hadn't, obviously my husband hadn't seen it. He's not a musical kind of guy, but unless it's a Disney. <laughs> but anyways, he was gracious enough to go with me, and uh, so obviously, if you've seen Wicked, you know it's all, it's kind of a, a twist on Oz and the Wizard of Oz and the Emerald City and I left thinking it makes me want to use some more my Emerald palette by Huda. Total side note, total geek moment, I know. But on a side note, that musical is incredible. It's my favorite musical show of all time. If you have a chance to see it, if it comes to your city, do it. Even if you get balcony seats, doesn't matter. It is so amazing. It's such a fun twist on the story. You of the Wicked Witch of the West, you would love it. So here's what this looks like. And geez, her, these palettes are so good. Look how sparkly. And that's kind of one of the more subtle ones. She's got some crazy pigment in here, which for $27, uh, you just can't go wrong. Okay, so I'm going to take that one. And I think we're good for now. We've kind of exhausted. Hold on, let me put something back here before we get all messy my room is a mess as it is and i've it's just on my mind to clean it but okay so here's what we've got going on there here's what we've got going on here let me move this over to the desk and we'll get started on all of the routine normal stuff over there okay so we've moved everything over here i opened up the super shock cheek by ColourPop, the disney one just to kind of show you how it came in so this is what it looks like after i tried to maneuver it as best i could it was all shrunken up into like a little ball right here so i kind of smoothed it out and tried to mend it as best i could but that is the best that could be done for that anyways so that's what the super shock cheek looks like it's pretty stunning on its own so as a base for powder highlight it is just even more incredible and then this is the la douce stila shimmer and glow shade i love it for fall and if you've got green slash olive slash hazel eyes this will make your eye color just pop out of control pop <laughs> so anyways and it's perfect for fall if you pair it with like a coral it looks stunning if you pair it with like a gunmetal shimmer it looks stunning anyways so that's what we've got going on there so now let's go ahead and get into the normal stuff so you know my concealers are in here I'm gonna be doing a video this week for you guys on a comparison of the cover FX power play and the Tarte shape tape because I have been using this for a bit now and have um have some thoughts for you on that and uh, you know this one has been so hyped up but anyways that being said I am going to pick this one for the week on a positive note you remember how I always had the light in this well they went on a platinum perk for Ulta not too too long ago um where it was like half off so I got this for $14 finally in my ideal shade light medium and uh yeah, I'm happy to have that one. So I ended up, my mom wanted to try the shape tape, so I ended up sending the light with her. She doesn't do anything past fair or light. She just likes to keep it light. So there we've got that. Now you guys know I have to pick out my Fenty um, Pro Filter Eye. I also need to pick out a mascara. So we'll go with, you know, I have been loving this Hourglass Extreme. What is this called? It's called Extreme. It's called Caution. And I love it so much. The only downside is that it is harder to take off with makeup remover and it's not waterproof, but it's a beautiful look that it gives. So let's take just our normal black and brown eyeliners, pencil eyeliners. These are by Essence are the best and most long-lasting eyeliners I have found for my waterline. The Urban Decay 24-7, as beautiful as they are, 
don't stay in my waterline for more than five minutes. So I end up can't, not being able to use those. So the fly liner. So let me tell you, remember how back in the day, not back in the day, even just a couple months ago, before this came out, I told y'all that I was really unable to do a good wing with any kind of pen. So this was a game changer for me because it was so precise. It allowed me to do the most beautiful wing um, without messing up. Well, now that I've had so much practice with this, I, the other day I started trying with my Stila Double Ended. And now I can get the best wing with this pen, which never used to happen. And I have Fenty Fly Liner to thank for that. Mine is actually getting kind of gross at this point. The little um, point is not firm anymore. It's kind of bendy. And so it is time for a new one, which I will be picking up probably in the November sale. Um, but love that one. But I think I'm going to put this one to use since I've not really used it all that much because I couldn't do a wing with a pen. Anyways... I think we've got everything going on there that we need to. I don't have any loose glitter. You know what? I am going to use it because that Natasha Denona has some loosey type of glitters. Okay. Uh, and then let's move on to brows. You know the drill with brows. I've been using browsings lately because it was in that set for Christmas I got last year. And I don't want it to go to waste. I really want to get the set this year. It's just such a great deal. But I still have a, some left of this Cabral. I just don't want to waste money on things I no longer need. You know, because I am I need to be wiser with how I buy my makeup. It's just YouTube when you're not... Um, we don't receive anything, which is fine. I do this because I love to, um, but it gets expensive and I, I'm at a point right now where I can't be doing that as much anymore. So we're going to pick browsings for this week and oh, I got that. I'm excited to use this Anastasia brow definer. Um, this one was, um, on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, but I don't want to open it up, start using it until I've really made good headway. I mean, this one like has half, I, I'm at a point where I could throw this one because it's got, getting kind of old, but, um, yeah, so we're good there. Now let's move on to, um, face primer, which I already know I want to use this one right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I got this as a beauty offer from Sephora. You know, when you place an online order and you get to pick something, if you order something like, I don't know, 25 or $35 or more, and I can't even tell you how much I've been loving this. This thing is so good. I'm pretty sure the regular size is such a pretty penny. But anyways, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So we've got face primer going on. Now we're going to move on to foundation. So coming over here, I just, there are several that have won my heart and that now I have as like my top. I love the Dior Skin Forever. I still do, but I don't even know. It's not in my top three anymore just because, so Huda definitely is. Fenty definitely is. But then Born This Way by Too Faced and the Beauty Bounce, Bounce Beauty? Beauty Bounce by Beauty Blender has really, really taken over for me. This is just, I loved this and my Dazzled or Disappointed and quite frankly, the love for it has continued to grow. So I think I'm gonna use this one. I love it. I am in the shade 2.10. It is, I think, the light medium neutral and it is so incredible. So that's what we're going to use for this week. Um, There. And I think we're good with that drawer. So then all we have to do, I believe, is pick out some lipsticks. Now, this is always the hardest part because I've got lipsticks like in different places. I've got lipsticks there. I've got lipsticks there. And it's not in any way to brag. It's just that sometimes too much decision can be uh, kind of a bad thing. And then I've got lipsticks there. One more spot, guys. One more spot. Here. Glosses here, and then the where I had my foundations in the bottom drawer, you know I have uh, actual bullet lipsticks there. So the question is, I if you guys have ideas of how to organize lipsticks, whether it be like in cups by color or by shade range or whatever, I welcome those because quite frankly, I find this not stressful because that's like, that sounds so vain. Um, it's just, it's, it's a lot, you know? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's gonna, you don't want it to be to where like you, you, oh, I have too much and I, you know, and you don't end up using half of it, which is uh, such a waste of money and it's not a good, it's not a wise use of money. We'll put it that way. I have not used this one in a, in a while. The Balm Meet Matte Hughes it is in the shade Devoted. It is so stunning. This is a red that makes my teeth look really nice and white. So I'm going to take that one. I have not used that one in so long. Let's also take this one. It's October and this is a fall shade. I bought it last, was it last year? I think it was last year. Maybe it was in, in the, even the year before. But this is in the shade, 
uh, Out Loud. This is it, right? Yeah. This is in the shade Out Loud. It's an orangey shade, and seeing that we're in the month of October, and it's all things pumpkin right now, I'm taking that one. Mm, I think the other I want to take is um, a Stila, and it is over here. Mr. Pongo is right here um, chewing on his antler. Our grocery store sells... <laughs> okay. Her grocery store sells antlers for dogs to chew. Uh, just don't get close to that cord, man. That freaks me out. You could get electrocuted. And that's not, uh, we don't want hot dogs today. Um, I used Bocce the other day and forgot how much I love the Stila um, liquid lipstick formula. If I used to find it so super drying. And while it is very drying, I don't find it as drying as I used to. And it stayed on. Pretty much all day. So let's take this one. This one is in the shade Fer Ferenz. Uh, is this going to focus? Maybe not. Okay. Well, it's there you go. Ferenz. So let's take that one. And I think we're good. I've just, I've got to clean my room. So excuse the mess. Just things everywhere. And that stresses me out. So let me put this camera down and I'll get you swatches of these, these lippies. And then we'll do our little rundown. I think we're good. So on the left side, you have the, I think it was Out Loud by Smashbox, I think that's what it was called. Ferenz is in the middle by Stila, and that beautiful red is um, Devoted by The Balm. It is, as far as my favorite red of all time, it's kind of a toss-up between this one and the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint, because that one is also really incredible. So, and I do want to try a couple of her other new releases. I'm just, again, waiting for the November sale for that. But that's what we've got going on for lippies. I think, I mean, there's not an actual nude nude, but I think that's okay. Let's We'll make it work with this. Let's do our rundown, make sure we've got everything. I know I've got face primer and foundation. I know I've got blush. Uh, plenty of blush there. I've got bronzer and bronzer in there. I've got highlight. I've got highlight. Oh, there's one other highlight I wanted to, to um, put out here. Hold on. So I had picked up Fuego um, last weekend with the Francation palette and a couple of lip products. I had not picked up Fuego the first go around. So because I loved the I Love Sarai highlights so very much, I figured I would give this one a try because those, those were so intense that it kind of sold me on Dose of Colors highlights. And that is that gold one right there. Now, um, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Is it my favorite of all time? Do I think it's the most intense highlight of all time? No, but it is still very beautiful. The Chasing the sun Sunshade was way too deep for me, so I did not even pick that one up. But we've got this going on, and I think we are good. So, all right. So let's do our rundown as we were, <laughs> as you were. Um, so blush, let's see, we've got the highlight, the highlight, the highlight. We've got eyeshadow for sure. Um, we've got that amazingness right there. Concealer, lipsticks, brows for glitter, for eyes. I think we're good. Yes. I don't know. Sometimes I end up forgetting stuff. Let me just rephrase a lot of times. It's kind of one of those things like you pack for a trip and once you've left, you think of everything that you forgot. <laughs> so anyways, but I think this is good. This takes care of my makeup for the week, which I am so excited because now I am good to go. I am organized and ready for the week. All right, guys, thank you all so much who have commented saying you love this Shop My Stash series. That helps me know that you do enjoy watching it so that I keep it coming, even though there are a few weeks where I miss, but I will always bring it back as long as y'all want it. Okay, everybody, I hope you're having a most wonderful day, and I will see you in the very next video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.